I'm a slow guy, you know. Kind of a slow guy. It is purple debo versus anti reflex. You know. Okay, maybe maybe it's not so bad that I'm kind of slow right now, because this is gonna be a mess where just two people are just going throwing everything and the kitchen sink at each other. And I can probably just take my time because Lord knows that these two <laughs> are definitely going to take their time. What a way to hype up a set, you know. <laughs> And anti reflex playing Rob. Wow, getting the kill with the side B, which is actually kind of a good move now, which is really weird to say. But there you have it. Oh, yeah, uh, anti reflex with a Rob, you know, which is interesting because at the start of this game, I, I figured he was playing mostly Belmont, actually. Oh, there's the big combo we saw, I think, on the Beefy Smash dudes as well, you know, with the Nairs and the Gyros and uh, the Robo. Uh, what would we call it? I think it would just... I would, if I were to name that move, I would just call it the Rob Rotator. And there's Anti-Reflex, um, kind of forgoing edge guard, which is a shame, because even in Smash 4, uh, it probably would have not been too much trouble to snipe away the third trampoline jump, but he just didn't bother. Then again, of course, you know, he doesn't have to take any risk, because he is well ahead, but still, I would have liked to see him go for it. Okay, we got the bell. Oh, what? That was just the weirdest hit. Okay, we got melons. <laughs> or at least we uh, we had one. Another bell. Tries to use the down air for the kill. Because uh, Rob is at that kind of percent where uh, most... most well, I won't say most things because it's still Pac-Man. But a lot of things are just going to be killing now. Let's see if we can get a nice hit with an aerial or a hydrant. Inky not gonna find his mark, but the Hydrant and the Dare to cover the tech. Nice edge guard from Purple Depot. Let's see if he can work his way uh, back up to an even game. Because Lord knows he has uh, a long way ahead of him. Oh, what, what, what was the Galaxian doing? Kind of went down after hitting the shield. Nair from anti-reflex is probably pretty still, but even uh, though it's pretty still, it can still kill you at some point. But uh, unfortunately for Debo, he uh, he messed up and let Rob snipe that hydrant in front of him. I wonder if the damage threshold needed to knock hydrant away gets the same uh, upward skill as move damage does when you play in 1v1. That would actually be something interesting for the packs to figure out. But Debo, what what kind of spacing is that? Using uh, Inky, Pinky, Blinky. Using Blinky, the red ghost, in the forest mage to space out anti-reflex and get a nice early kill, which actually uh, got him the lead after he was behind by like 160% earlier this game. Okay, lots of damage on the Hydrant. Any move now is gonna make it go away. Fortunately for Debo, he was first with the drop kick, and we know anti reflex was looking to beat him to the punch with a gyro snipe. Oh, and another Blinky, and that's another KO. Debo with these forward smashes. How is he spacing so well? Yeah, with the deep Pac-Man lore. Inky, Pinky, and Blinky. Uh, uh, hashtag Miss Pac-Man for Echo Fighter. I actually need a cheap Miss Pac-Man DLC. Or at least just make her a costume like Elf, you know? This is Yeah, this is what it takes to be a top commentator. I even know that the spaceship is called a Galaxian. Even though all the scrub commentators keep calling him a Galaga. Galaga is the video game. Or a video game. And Galaxian. That's the spaceship. That's the particular spaceship. I even know the melon is a melon. Even though it doesn't look like a melon. Or at least it doesn't look like a melon in my opinion. Anyway, we're getting back to the full game. Three, we're on Battlefield. Go. This is where anti reflex choose to go. Ooh. 
Okay, Debo. With the forward air pressure. That's such a nice move. That move is so nice, it almost makes me want to play Pac-Man, but then I uh, remember I really don't want to play Pac-Man. <laughs> like, I, I, I really I, I really find item play awkward to input, you know? I'll play Link, because that's usually just spawn an item, throw it in a place, you know, be smart with it, but uh, all those uh, weird kind of uh, juggle moves with the items. Nah, man. What? The power pellet? Running in from all the way over there and just hitting? What? I have never seen a Pac-Man use power pellet to cover the landing, but I have seen the Robo Rotator actually kill a couple of times now. That's that's why why is that move scary now? Like I I want to go back to Smash 4, or at least when it comes to that particular move. Nah, I mean I, um, I I I don't want to let Rob have it. There's the apple bouncing away. Purple Debo already at 71%. Oh, but he does not get the hit of the final down there. That's a shame. Using Blinky once again to knock away the Hydrant. That's one of the things that would annoy me about Pac-Man, you know? You get people at such high percent. But you, have, you have don't have too many kill moves, you know? Even a high percent, you might sometimes need some kind of high effort setup. Fortunately, his grab is much improved, which means his kill throw, the back throw, actually could see a whole lot more use than it did in the last game. So that's nice for Pac-Man. Oh, could not catch the Galaxian. Even though he did something really smart with it, you know. He, uh, he threw the Galaxian into the water from the Hydrant, so the Galaxian got pushed back towards Pac-Man, allowing for easier pickups. So that's actually interesting. But you know, you could, you could do a lot of effort with those crazy, crazy uh, uh, bonus food setups. But the gyro, man, you know, it's a lot simpler, It's uh, but it, it does not, you know, do under. That's, the, oh, that's a horrible, horrible uh, way to phrase it. <laughs> it, uh, it does not lack in terms of versatility, even compared to Pac-Man's bonus food, in my personal opinion. That gyro, man, so good. Key. It's gonna be a direct hit, nowhere near killing of course, but some nice damage. And he needs everything he can get right now. Anti-reflex looms Ferdium control with some very, very solid raw play. Staying safe, using the gyro. Interrupting Pac-Man setups, not letting him do his thing. Okay, he's got the gyro. He's gonna go for the setup. He tried, he tried. There is the bell. Bell's gonna miss. Gyro's coming back out. Debo, Debo's just having so much trouble getting. Oh, winning neutral and the Robo Rotator once again. This time, just pop it on a shield, and it lasts so long, and there's so many multi hits, and it does so much shield damage that you might just even get the shield poke for the last hit as anti reflex got. Good on him getting the two stock. Great answer here in game two. Japanese melons look different from the melons I know. I, I just know the Japanese made like cubicle melons, which is cool. <laughs> but those were watermelons, and and that that did you know look like watermelon. So Debo, um, I've never seen him play anything other than Pac-Man, so he's probably staying. Let's see what the move is actually called. You know, add a little bit of knowledge. My rep for. Okay, looks like it's not here. Let's just switch the scenes. As we get into uh, the third game, hey, we're on Castle Siege. I think we're using the Genesis 6 rule set, which is a bit liberal with the stages. And I like that. I like that. Um, but I think Castle Siege might need to go. <laughs> Anyway, time will tell, playtime will tell, but I think definitely stages that are also in here like Yoshi's Story from Melee and, uh, and you know the Pokemon League are definitely different enough from their similar counterparts where they warrant uh, a separate stage pick. 
So I would definitely like to see those legal. I would also love to see Frigate Orphean legal, but I will admit I am hella biased. But I do feel Frigate Orphean was not given a fair shake in terms of the test run. Anti-reflex, he's on top, he's on top. Oh! And as soon as he gets <laughs> on the bottom, he pops up that grill and just destroys Debo. You know, whenever I see Pac-Man, you know, with all his fruit, he get, he get blown up by a fire move. I always think about, you know, that dish in Breath of the Wild, you got the steered fruit. Where you kind of just fry a whole bunch of fruit. That's, that's what happens when you grill Pac-Man like that. Okay, okay. So, so I guess we're seeing why Debo chose this stage. We saw him chase down anti-reflex with that fair. And he was just in the corner so quick, because this is a, a rather small stage. So I'm, I'm liking the stage pick for Depo. like what he's doing. Nevertheless, that grill, that up smash at the start of the game, um, that really did him dirty. That really did him dirty. Because Rob did not have too much percent right there. And it moves so strong, took the stock from Depo relatively early. Definitely had more life in it if he didn't get hit by the up smash. And the melon from all the way over there, anti-reflex is... It's the call of the void, man. Like, you see a big ravine, you stare into it, and you feel just kind of calling out to it. You see this powerful projectile that moves comically slow, and you just, you just look at it, and you feel kind of drawn to it. Maybe that's what happened. And there's Debo with a big Galaxian combo. Unfortunately for him, the, the platform on the left side actually stopping the second swoop, which could have extended the combo even further. But still, he has the momentum. He has the momentum. Okay, looks like Anti-Reflex broke out and he uses the Robo Rotator to cover the normal getup. Almost killing and off of that he got a nice offstage situation edge guarding Debo with the Gyro as this is uh, Purple Debo's tournament stock. If he doesn't make a crazy comeback here like he did in game one, then that's it for him. And Anti-Reflex will advance, let's find out. Oh, but they're gonna miss. There is the blinky. That is the opening, the opportunity, the gift that Purple Debo was looking for. As he instantly evens it up about with percent, you know. Of course, at the reflex firing back with Juggle, you know. He's, he's not about losing the lead. <laughs> but that particular hit with the blinky, hmm. That's, uh, it definitely brought Debo back in this. I'll, I'll tell you that much. But it seems like he's still intent on contesting Nair, and if you're not fast enough, if you do not catch Rob before he gets Nair out, you're not gonna be able to punish it. And the biggest snipe from Anti-Reflex, normally that Robo Laser just does not kill. But on a small stage like this, so far off stage, so close to the blast zone, on a little pack, it's, uh, it's gonna take the stock as Anti-Reflex advances in the loser's bracket.